Hey guys, welcome to Kalita Vlogs, and today I am going to start, uh, just make sure this is recording, oh good, okay. Um, today I'm going to show you, uh, in the theme of making things, I'm going to show you how to make a Minecraft texture pack. Now, this is not going to tell you how to do one from scratch, this is going to do one based off of the existing texture pack in Minecraft. Um, so yeah. Uh, I'll sh give you an example of what it looks like. Let me just, uh, da, 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 da. you're probably going to see my full name here at some point. Um, so I'll just put it out there. Yes, my name is Abigail. Uh, I go by Kalita. That is my gamer tag. So you can call me whichever. I'm really not fussed. Um, okay, so uh, the game, the, sorry, I should go back. Uh, they used to be called texture packs, they are now called resource packs, and I still sometimes call them texture packs, so just bear with me if that happens. I do mean resource packs. So, um, you're going to have to deal with a lot of hidden files in this, so I would recommend turning them on, which you do by... Mm. There was a way to do this. There we go, hidden items. So check this off. Um, this is again for Windows 8. But uh, check off uh, hidden items, and that's going to have to wait. Um, and check, also you want to make sure you check on file name extensions. Um, and otherwise, this is going to be very, very difficult. Now, um, yes, so examples of resource packs. So there's the default one. And this is one that I made um, because I build Hogwarts. I'm trying to build Hogwarts um, on a server right now. Um, and I'm, ideally, I want to make it like a playable environment where you have quests and all of that. So um, I'm working on building that. So I had to make a specific texture pack in order for some of this, for, in order for some of the stuff to work. So um, this is the folder where you're going to put your new texture pack. Um, so yeah, you can see there, my maiden name is Davies. It's not my married name. I'm not telling you what my married name is. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, let's close this down for now. Why is my phone buzzing? Oh, you can wait. Okay, so how we're going to open that, I'm going to close this. Um, and again, this is for Windows 8. If you have Windows um, 7 or previous, uh, it's not going to be that difficult. What you're going to do first is you need to open the appropriate folder to open up the basic texture file essentially or resource pack file and you're going to hit windows key r to open up run and you're going to type this in percent app data percent all one word all lowercase and then hit enter and it's going to open up this so in order to get to this if you can't do that for some reason you're going to go to c uh users i believe no that's not right hmm that's a problem. Okay, hold on. Up, up, up. Okay, this is weird. So go to your main folder. App data, which is invisible. You're going to go to roaming. And then you want to go to the .minecraft file. Now this only works if you've already installed and played Minecraft. So make sure that you've actually loaded it, started up a single player game, and then you can exit out. Um, so open up the Minecraft folder. And this is where your resource pack will eventually go. So at this point, I recommend opening up a second folder. I'm just gonna put this here. And resource packs here is where it's going to go. So make up a new folder here. So let's just call it new folder. Uh, okay. So we've got that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to open up versions and you're going to pick the newest one. So in this case, 1.7.4. And you're going to right click on the uh, jar file, the executable one. And you're going to open it with some type of um, RAR reader that, that'll open it up. So you're going to open it up. I use WinRAR and it's going to tell me that it's not free. It's a trial, blah, blah, blah. And you're going to open the assets folder actually, you know what you're going to do? You're just going to move, do this, take the assets folder and you're going to right click it and you're going to extract and you're going to extract it to this. So mouse over, 
Control C to copy, paste it there, and go. So it shows up right here. And then click OK. And it's going to move that folder. That's the only folder you need. And there you can see it's now here. So we can close this and we can close this. Now, so um, once you're done that, you need to create two files. Um, and I'm just going to copy and paste them here. That's not what I wanted. Go away. All right, so control N to open up a uh, copy of the window. What did I just do? No. Remove. Go away. OK. Um, and you're going to need to create these ones. And this is why I said have the file extension open, because this, um, all you need to do, we're going to open with Notepad. You need to do this. Um, description, put in the little brackets, whatever you want to call it. And then it just needs to look like this. Um, so I'll just leave that up for a second and you can type it out or whatever. Um, but yeah, I just, just make sure it has this, whatever you want to call the title in here. Or no, whatever, you, sorry, whatever you want to call the, uh, whatever you want the description to be. So when you open up Minecraft and it has the title of it, which will be whatever your folder name is, and then this will be in the lighter text below explaining what it is. So there's this, and you're gonna close that. But you need to make sure you have it as a .micmeta file, not .txt, which is the default when you open it like this. And then you need to have a this. So this defaults as the little picture of the mountain. That's the basic picture for um, most texture packs. This, because it's my Hogwarts one, I did the H here. And you need to make sure that that is there. And then once that is done, you can open up, once these two are in here, so we'll just transfer this over, we'll change this. We're going to go uh, Kalita's test source pack. Oh, ah, there we go. Close, save, and we'll move it. No, actually, that's not what I wanted to do. Ah, hold on. So we'll go vegan and shovels, Hogwarts again. Okay. Save. We're going to copy both of these and we're going to paste them in here. Open with notepad and then we'll rename this one test. Save. And then this one will just keep the picture. But you can make it whatever you like. And here you can see you open it in this file, and I'll explain how to get that in a second. So let's just make it, oh, uh, where's purple? There, we'll make it this, and we'll just Save that, okay, close it, okay, so now we can close this. And this is where um, we're going to start changing what the blocks look like. So open up assets, then you get the folder name Minecraft, and you have these five folders. So font, if you want, you can change what all the glyphs look like. Generally, I just leave it. If you're just changing the blocks, you don't need to worry about that. but you can change what language you're using. You can change the uh, different shaders and all of that. But And you can change what shows up. So the credits, you can change what happens when you get to the end of the game. You can change 
what the splashes are. So mine, I made, so at the beginning when it flat, the whatever flashes, this is where you change it. So I changed mine, but you don't have to, you could just leave them. <coughs> and then textures, this is what you're here for. So blocks, these are all of them. Now, if you're only changing a couple, you don't need to physically go and do this. You can open up the jar file that we opened at the beginning and you can change um, just the one little specific one right in there, or you can make a texture pack and um, you make this texture pack, but you only copy one of the items into the texture pack. And you just make a little picture of the one and that's the only one that'll be overwritten. Um, so really, you for a te for a resource pack, sorry, not a texture pack, a resource pack. For the resource pack, you don't, you only have to put in there what you're changing. Make sure the names are exactly the same, and then you're fine. Now to open these, you're going to need a program called Paint.net. I will put a link to where to get this. It's a free program in the description um, because you need to be able to uh, have the transparency in the background. Paint won't work. You do need um, Paint.net, and again, I will put the link in the back in the description. So for example. Um, if I open up, actually, hold on, Minecraft resource packs, okay, if I open up, you can see the ones that I changed, so bedrock I turned to a number, and the beds I made uh, black with yellow H's on, and um, so I, I changed a lot of them, um, ones that I didn't need because I needed them to look specific. You can change how things look as they're being destroyed. Um, yeah, you can change lots of stuff. You can change what the fire looks like. Um, fire later also has McMenna files, so you just need to make sure that you copy those if you're changing the fire as well. And yeah, so lots of stuff that you can change. What else did I change? Oh, I made some of them. Um, the Hogwarts letters because I was so there's the Hufflepuff one I made a I made a crest there's my Gryffindor side of the crest and all of that so that's how that works but uh, yeah so we will close this I think That's how that works. Um, so you're gonna go in, you're gonna alter. So you're gonna, so item type, the first time you do this, you're gonna have to click on it and go open with, and then make sure you select paint.net. That's my default. So let's change bedrock. So we're gonna control mouse wheel to zoom in. So this is what it looks like, obviously very pixely. And we're gonna change it. And now let's say you just want everything, you want it to be similar, but you want it to have, you want it to look a little bit sharper. So you can outline each thing to make it kind of stand out more. You can just make it a solid color and you can completely do your own thing. So let's make it purple because purple is awesome. So all the light ones we're going to change to purple. Wow. The good news is you can also change um, how the armor looks, you can change how the trees look, you can change everything. The sky is the limit, more or less. Actually, we're going to do this. We're going to make it not all that dark. Put it like that. Yeah. There we go.
So this is very uh, time consuming, but um, you will end up with something that you're super proud of. And I missed one there. So let's change that. So use the eyedropper tool and put that there. Perfect. That's it. And then you can do control S to save it. And then you can close. And now our bedrock looks like this. And let's just, so you go through, you change whatever you need to change. And then the color maps, this is what the grass, the grass gradient looks like. Um, various effects, all the different animals, you can change what they look like. Um, and this is uh, view medium icons. Uh, view, let's go extra large icon. No, not that big. No. We'll do large. Okay, that's better. So you can change what this all looks like. Um, all the different NPCs, the basic villager, and then um, what the witch looks like. And yeah. So the villager actually has, okay, so it does have multiple. So you can change with the village, the regular villager, the butcher, the farmer, the librarian, the priest, the smith. Um, you can change what the ender dragon looks like, and you can change the when it explodes and the eyes and all of that. So there's lots of stuff to change. Um, and then environment, you can change what the end looks like, what the moon phases look like, what the sun looks like, snow, rain, and the clouds. This is, I'm not entirely sure, this is font. I didn't touch the font, I didn't see the point. Um, and then your user, your graphic user interface, also called GUI. Um, so what the achievement stuff looks like, what all of your various containers look like, you can change it, and so on and so forth. The book for enchanting and, no, no, so the books for reading, what the titles look like. So lots of stuff to change all of the little icons for all the items, so what shows up on your action bar and in your inventory. Uh, you can change what those look like. And then maps, all the random stuff. And there's one other thing that I need to find. I will mention because I think it's worth mentioning. Um, Hmm. Give me a second. Come on. Okay. So this is where, if you want to rename something, this is where you do it. So here you can see tile.cloth.green.name is green wool. So this is what the green wool is called. If you want to change what it's called, this is where you come to change it. And that is under the language. So if you want to call, let's say you, so for my Harry Potter one, for example, I call all sticks wands. So I had to find, so you go control F and you find stick, find next. So sticky piston. So item.stick, here's the name stick. So this is where I would copy paste this and we would change it to, let's say wand. And then the bowl, we want to change it and call it a, Spell sieve. Yes, it is. Okay, so we want to call it sieve. Mushroom stew. We want to call cream of mushroom soup. Uh, sugar cane paper. We want to call let's say papyrus. And that's it. So that's how that works. So we'll save that. Control S to save for those of you that don't know and now we're done. So this is all completely done. So now what you're going to do is you're going to open Minecraft and it's going to load. So I'm going to drink my tea. And we're going to go to options, resource packs. Here it is. So you're going to go to resource packs. You're going to press the arrow to make it here and it's going to override the default. If you have multiples going, it just gets confusing. So this is where you just want to make sure you have one, but all of your available ones will be here. Move it over so that's the one working. So we are done. We're going to open up 
a single player game. And we're going to call this and we'll do creative creating world. Okay, so oh, I love that they've added all these flowers too because that means oh, there you go. Oh, I can't pick that one up. Okay, why is this one? Oh, because I'm in creative, right? Okay, never mind. Let's see if it'll work. Out. There. Uh, Oh, I just, I love all the flowers for dyes and stuff. I just think it's really cool. Easier ways than to grind materials to get colors. So let's go see what our bedrock looks like. So I'm flying here just to make sure that I don't uh, sink through the bottom of the world and die. Oh, lava, good. Okay, so here's our bedrock. Still has the uh, still has the look of uh, has the little particles flying around. So, all right, that's our bedrock, and we also changed some items, I believe. So let's look at those. So let us. Cream of mushroom soup. There we go. So now it's called that. And Want. It is now called want. And papyrus. Paper is now called papyrus. So there you go. It's as easy as that. And just to give you an idea of how much can change, we're going to save and quit resource packs. And we're going to open up my Hogwarts one and I will show you. So you can see here, I can rename these eventually. Here, I will show you the, uh, oh yeah, that's the other thing. I will six wall explain that in a second. Uh, okay, so there we go. That's my Hogwarts shield. I'm pretty proud of it. I thought I did a pretty good job. And so I will have this hanging on whatever. Um, but if you want to make something disappear, all you need to do is completely erase the picture in paint.net for all of it. So I did stance when I made it invisible. So that, you know, if I could spell, that would make things really easy. I don't know if many of you are familiar with Harry Potter. I would hope you are, but oh yeah, this tends to happen too. If you have it on the ground, it'll show you everything that's underneath, but in the room, in the great hall, there are candles flying everywhere and you can't make stuff really float and, um, without seriously altering stuff in the game. And so I just made an invisible block so that I could have stuff hanging. Now, this will hang, but the ones in between don't need to. So you can put that and then it just, they're just hanging. And it's like, oh, how is this happening? Wait, you just have an invisible block. But what you need to do is, um, so I had to alter the chiseled one and I had to alter the smooth one because parts of it are really dumb like that. But um, you just have to completely erase the picture in paint.net and it just does that. So. There you go, guys. This is how you make a texture pack in, or sorry, resource pack in Minecraft as of 1.7.4. Um, if something very humongous changes, uh, I will re -up I will re-update this, but, or I will update this, re-update isn't a word, uh, caffeine. Anyway, um, but if nothing changes when 1.7.5 comes out or whatever, um, what you're going to want to do then is just if you're making this, go to the newest possible version. Where we went to 1.7.4, you just go to the newest one and then extract the assets folder from that jar file. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So I hope you found that helpful. 
Um, please continue to leave comments down below for ideas. Uh, I will answer any questions you have. I will try out almost anything if you want me to try it. Uh, some of the harder ones I have to wait for more people. Like I've gotten a request for Sunwell Plateau um, and uh, I know I have one for Nax and Aishkar. I just need to wrangle a few people together for that one. And it's difficult because I film these during the day and normal people have jobs right now. So, anywho, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.